You just lay down in daddy's spot. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick you up, put you on my lap. Come here. Okay. He's dead again. Okay. You can't even see him because of the uh, microphone's in the way. I got him. You no. gonna stay right here. You gonna stay like a baby. I'm gonna hold his feet. You gonna stay like a baby. My baby, baby. He looks cute against that color. Yeah, he's beautiful. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. So today, Steven and I are going to be telling the story of how we met again, because we did film this video probably like three years ago. Yeah. And we're pretty young in it. It's one of our most viewed videos too. Is it? It has like over 800,000 views. Pretty good. So if you guys want to really check good. out a cringy version of me and Steven back in the day, we're obviously a lot more comfortable with each other now. I think we were like dating for like four months or something. Not at even that point. four months. Really? Maybe four months. And now we're married, so we're, we're like- We're still a little awkward around each other. <laughs> Stop. We haven't, we haven't even held hands yet. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping, hoping that changes today. So we're just going to be doing a updated version of us telling how we met because a TikTok of ours recently gained quite a bit of traction. And we'll also have a link down below if you guys are curious on watching it, but we just wanted to come on here and explain it because a lot of people probably don't know. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit that bell. So you guys get notified every single time we post a video. We actually opened up a PO box recently. So if you guys want to send us packages or letters or anything, that'll be down in the description below. We're actually yes. doing a PO box opening tonight on live stream. Our new posting schedule is we are doing a live stream on Thursday, opening up PO box and just talking with you guys. And then we are posting regular videos on Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday. And we're super excited to stick with that because we've been really bad about it. We're motivated, it's December, we're gonna do it. <laughs> So we hope you're ready. So this all started around four years ago, which is weird to think, January 21st, 2017. I was working at Chick-fil-A for about a year and I was working in the drive-thru. Well, Madeline was a YouTuber well before me. She was a social media influencer. <laughs> I've been doing it since I was like in ninth grade. She had like 17,000 subscribers or 19,000 subscribers at the time. But YouTube wasn't my main platform. My main platform was a live streaming platform where I would go live every single day and that's relevant to the story. So. Yes, basically in that video, she was pulling up to Chick-fil-A. She was either gonna go to the container store or Chick-fil-A and she decided to go to Chick-fil-A, right? Oh, I have Starbucks. Well, that day I was originally supposed to go to the container store mm -hmm. because I was, I forgot, I was trying to organize something and it was raining so I didn't want to drive all the way into Fort Worth which is kind of far for me and it was raining and I'm a nervous driver. So I was like I'll just go to Chick-fil-A for this video and I filmed the drive with me and I got to a point where I was like okay do I want to go to Starbucks or do I want to go to Chick-fil-A and I wasn't even hungry but I was like okay I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A because that's just like iconic at the time I loved Chick-fil-A and I always was I was kind of like known for it honestly like I mean you my were whole a Chick-fil-A cow for Halloween one time, right? Yeah, and like my entire like Twitter, I was always talking about Chick-fil-A. I don't know why. Good food. So it's kind of ironic that I found my husband there. Aww. <laughs> she ended up going to Chick-fil-A, and lo and behold, there I was handing food out to the people, two people in front of her, right? That's the first time you saw me. I think it was like two or three cars in front of her. And she's like freaking out. She's like, oh my gosh, this is the sexiest man I've ever seen Ew, in my life. No, I did not life. say sexy. Ew, um, no. He should be on the top 100 list of Sexiest men in America, in the world maybe, possibly, universe. Um, <laughs> okay, I did not say that. It was pretty close to that. Okay, well basically, I was in my car doing a singing thing and it's so cringy. She was singing Don't drunk test and she's like, drunk text and drunk text and. It's so oh cringy, God. please she, do not She's going. It. So basically, I saw Steven handing food out the window and I'm like, oh my God, he is cute. He is so freaking cute. And um, I figured out his name was Steven. But first, before that, you were mad at the car in front of you for taking so long because you were like, and I quote, hurry up you car, I need to see this cute kid. So I figured out his name is Steven. I'm like, I'm female, I can find him. So I basically put on my Twitter saying, hey guys, so this is for a school project. Um, there's this cute kid in my town. He works at Chick-fil-A. His name is Steven, find him. My supporters ended up freaking finding him on Instagram because you were following Chick-fil-A. They're like, okay, he lives near our city. His name is Steven and he follows Chick-fil-A. So, and I think 
you had a tagged photo. That our, my supporters went all in, dude. You had, I think, a tagged photo of you at work in yeah. your uniform. And people were like, this has to be him. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's him. So I messaged him on Instagram. And, and what was weird is I was only working two days a week because I was in tennis and I got in trouble for not making it to practice because I was working all the time. And so we ended up DMing. I wish we still had your old Instagram because that was when our first, this had our first DMs on there and now we don't have access to that. Wait, I think you actually could still look at it. It just won't be my username. Mm -mm. I've already tried to look several times and it's not there. Yeah, my Instagram got hacked, so my old one, so I, and they ended up taking over the account or whatever. And so we don't have our original DMs, but basically I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I was like, if you want to <laughs> see me again, I work Wednesdays and Saturdays. You want to come see me? Dang, you I was really in, were like. Because I was in school <laughs> as a junior in high school. Yeah, I don't want to mention that. So. <laughs> anyway, um, so super cute, and my supporters ended up finding him, and now here we are, four years later, married, have our own house. Madeline's a cradle robber. Stop. <laughs> At the time, I was 18. He was about to turn. About to 17. turn 17, like literally in two months. I see how it looks really bad, 16 and 18. I would probably be like, hmm, right, raising my eye. But I felt attacked because I was like, if this was a girl dating an 18 year old, everyone would be like, oh, cool, you're dating an 18 year old. But because I was older, everybody like had an opinion about it. And especially because we were on the internet, a lot of people had an opinion about it. I just kept saying, when we're 50 and 52, no one is going to bat an eye. And it's not like I was, manipulating you or, you know, like yeah. I wasn't being, yeah. It wasn't a relationship like that. And the age <laughs> of consent in Texas is 17. So we were all good on that part. Yeah, we were almost there. We were illegal for two months. Illegal, you mean? That's what I said, I said illegal. I thought. Ah, uh, they said legal. We were illegal for two months. <laughs> so I'm 22, he's 20 and it's, it worked out. Yeah. Anyway. Now we're here. Yeah, so that is our story on how we met. And then we started a YouTube channel, um, I think three months. Soon after, mm -hmm. we, we posted our first YouTube video, May 31st, 2017. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. the dot. Ever since then, we've been showing our life. And I love that because we can always look back at it. We and have everything documented. Yeah, it's not everything, but a lot of stuff we have documented, which I think is so awesome that I would say typical people don't really have that. It's always iPhone videos and whatnot, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Yeah. I love our job and I love getting to do it with you and we love you guys. Obviously, you're the reason why we're sitting in front of this camera right now explaining this story. And it sounds corny. Whenever I used to hear like people on the internet say, it's all thanks to you guys. I was like, okay, whatever. But it's like, it's weird. Genuinely, because, it like, is. It, it, yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. So we met January 21st. We met the first time in person, like the 31st. No, because we went on a date beforehand. Oh, I forgot that we went to Chili's for like four hours. Remember yeah, that? but that was like a week after. Yeah, after we met. So we met up like a week afterwards and we ate at Chili's. We oh, went on a first oh, oh, oh. date. Wait, we never explained this. So that night on the 21st, I was live streaming because at oh, the yeah. time I went live, you know, we totally I forgot know, about I know, that's like this. the most important part. Yeah, <laughs> so I was live streaming on this platform every single day at this time. And so I went live and Steven, after he got off work, ended up coming in my live stream and we guest broadcasted, which is basically um, FaceTime. FaceTiming with each other. And we talked for like three hours. It was a long time. And I'm pretty sure that's on YouTube. It is. And it's super cringy. So don't watch it. I had, an, I had a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge at the time. <laughs> <laughs> they bullied me into getting an iPhone. Yeah, we so. did bully him. He had a, <laughs> a Samsung. So my head looks like really small in the video because it was like down here and it had like the wide angle camera. So my head looks like long and like <laughs> super small at the same time. Yeah, so you can actually see our first actual conversation Other on than, video. Yeah. And then my first reaction to Steven is on video. First thing you so ever crazy. said to me was on camera too. Yeah, and your first thing you said to me was, here you go, here's your food. <laughs> Pretty important. Well, no, I know what I said. That. I said, so we got a number three eight count with a medium fry and a medium Dr. Pepper. Would you like any sauces? And you didn't give them I to me. I didn't give Polynesian sauce. That's what I'm known for is not giving 
the Chick-fil-A girl Polynesian sauce. Yeah, in the video, I'm like, oh, I didn't give you my Chick-fil-A or my Polynesian sauce, but it's okay, he's cute. You're like, <laughs> he's probably got a girlfriend. He's probably like married. <laughs> probably has a kid. They lied to you had a kid. Yes, you did. Go watch the video. You said you had, I had a kid. And you're like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Really? Yeah. And you ended up being 16 in yeah. high school. <laughs> Again, if you guys wanna check out the original video of us explaining the story, we'll have it linked down below. Pretty cringy, but we had like a little spin on it. It was like Steven's version compared to my version of that event. And we had headphones on, and you can honestly tell that like we were just started dating. Like we just started dating, and it was my first time on the internet, and I was trying to act so cool, because I had the beats on, and I remember like sitting there, like <laughs> Whose on the beats phone. were those? Those are mine. I actually won those at a Chick-fil-A. Um, party <laughs> at Chick-fil-A. I was in a <laughs> raffle and I won Beats. It was either between a pair of Beats and like a 65 inch TV. I won the Beats. Nice. All right, well, we're gonna go, so thank you. Oh, actually, in that video, it has our DMs in it. Screenshots it does. of it. E I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it does. it does. So watch that video, even though we told you already to not watch it. Yeah. So we're gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're from TikTok, welcome to our YouTube channel. We already said they're posting schedule, so welcome. So with that being said, we hope you guys are having a great day or night. And whenever you're watching this, we hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye guys.